I've been swimming a lot of my life and I've made some great friends through the sport and I just really enjoyed being in the pool all the time. When I was 15 years old, I was ranked top 20 in the country for swimming and I was on my way to practice and I ended up experiencing a pain in my left foot that resulted in seeing a doctor and then having five additional surgeries to try to fix the pain issue. It led to me being in a walking boot for five years and living on crutches and then opioids to try to get through the day. And so I came to the realization that amputation might be in my benefit to be able to live a normal life again. And so I met plastic surgeon, Dr. Matthew Cardi, and he decided that amputation was the best thing for me. And so we did a left below the knee amputation. I decided to get back into swimming and I got into para swimming specifically and I ranked um, national champion in two events. And then everything kind of started to deteriorate again when I started experiencing pain in my right leg. I had an angiogram that determined I had a lack of blood flow from mid-calf down, which caused a vascular necrosis throughout my entire foot and ankle. And so doctors tried different medications and procedures to try to save my right leg, but ultimately there was nothing that they could do to save it. And that in turn made me a bilateral amputee. Losing both of your legs at the age of 22 is extremely scary. And ultimately um, I got through surgery and everything went well. And so in February of 2020, I got in my, both of my prosthetics and I started to learn how to walk. And so when I got back to walking, I also got back into the pool, which I never thought would happen. I have the dream of going to the Paralympics. And so it would be such an honor to represent my country and to just be able to do what I love to do. Working with Morgan is a com constant reminder that um, anything that I think is an obstacle is an obstacle because I think it is, not because it actually is, right? It's my job to figure out how to overcome those obstacles. And she does that every day and reminds me of that every day. Another thing that I do is public speaking, and I talk to kids in elementary schools, high schoolers, and in different hospitals and rehabs. And so by telling my story to other people, hopefully I can provide hope to them. And I just like to show other people that despite what you're going through in life, there's always hope um, at the end of the tunnel.